What's up, folks? I've made it into the damn canoe, believe it or not. Oh. I got me a blue cup. I'm tired of sitting on the damn couch watching TV. I'm ready to get my ass back to fishing and making y'all some good videos. Today's Sunday afternoon. We've had some rain come through. We might have a little bit more rain come through. And uh, that's usually good for fishing. So uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Stay tuned, folks. First thing you do when you get in the boat, take your flip flops off. Next thing you do, take a drink. I'll be back when I catch one. Got one, folks. Don't know how big it is, but I think you just let go. Hang on. You may come back after it. Be a little one. Nope, I don't got one, folks. <laughs> hey, today I'm just using some plastic worms. I've got a black trick worm and I've got the uh, watermelon seed trick worm. Gonna see how those do. I didn't bring anything else. Well, I did bring a, yeah, I did bring a frog, a uh, horny toad. But uh, right now I've got the trick worms on and we're gonna see how those do. When I hook up, I'll let you know. Got them. Oh, I don't got them. Yeah, folks, I'm using the micro light. I don't uh, get quite a good hook set as I usually do, so I guess I need to tighten my drag up on the hook set um, and then loosen it after that. So let's try it again. Let's try this again. Dang, missed him again. I think this time he's mine. Whoa. <laughs> small one, but I got him. Yep, got me right in the bottom of the lip. Oh, I did not bring my pliers? I knew I forgot something. Well, this ain't gonna be too good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be on my game to catch him right. Got him in the bottom of the lip. There's another pounder. That's normal for this pond. Yep. Fish number one. Smells like fish. Better not wash your hands too long because there's a couple of gators in here now, maybe more than two. I don't know, I've seen two different ones that I know of, but if there's two, there must be more. All right, folks, got one, but he's far, far away. Ugh. I hope it don't spit it out. Had a lot of line stretch. I got him. Man, the damn worm's halfway up the line. No, that ain't my worm. I got him, though. Got my fish. Another pounder. Let's get. You fish the same way every time, you get the same size fish every time. <laughs> that's, that's a lesson to be learned. If you want a different size fish, fish a different fashion, you know. It, it, that's what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. You fish the same way every time, you're going to get the same fish every time. Change up your way of fishing and you might get something different. Until then, that's all we're going to get. <laughs> Little pissers. That's okay. That's all right, I'm not here to win a contest or anything. I'm just here to have fun. Uh, get back into the groove, you know what I'm saying? I haven't done this in a while, folks. So, just trying to get back into the groove of things. Uh, give me another worm. That one got tore up. I got a couple flukes in here. I might try that. Oh, boy. This uh, mint micro spin that I'm using, I'm not using any weight on here with my worm. 
I got a, oh, this worm sucks. I hate freaking using used worms. Why don't I throw them so much as away? Put them, don't put them back in the box. Put them on the ground somewhere. Okay, got a fresh worm now. But what was I saying? I've, I've got four pound line on the micro spin, micro light, whatever you want to call it. And I do not have a weight on my worm, just a hook. And uh, yeah. So I don't know if you can see this. Let me sh sh zoom in. Try to show you how I hooked that worm on there. <clears throat> Bite the nipple off. Find the flat spot on there. And just go on in to the center. Go down about a quarter of an inch and come on out that worm like that. Push that up to the uh, notch that they have on the uh, worm hook and then push that push a little bit on your worm like that and then go back in just like that y'all see how i did that i don't know if you did or not if you didn't that's too damn bad i ain't doing it again it's time to catch a fish and i see one i see one right there I got him, folks. I got him. I got that fish. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, yep. Nope, I don't got him. God damn it, that must have been a small one. <laughs> when you see one hit the bank, throw at him. Throw at him. That's all you gotta do is throw at him. If you see something stir along the edge, throw at him. Because that means he's feeding. He's feeding along that edge. So it ain't gonna hurt to freaking throw something over there. Usually nine times out of 10, he'll hit it. That time he did hit it, but I think it was a lot smaller than what I expected. So let's continue back on the other side of the pond where we were. Just out of kicks and giggles, giggles and bangs. Uh -oh. Let's throw right there before I go back across the pond. I usually like to fish one side of the pond first and then the other side after. I like to make a loop. On this loop here, folks, I'm doing counterclockwise. Um, I'm gonna go start fishing back behind me where I'm at. But until I get there, let's just throw out a black worm with a weight and let it drag. I'm gonna put a clicker on. So if something grabs it, it goes to clicking on me. Just because I'm not gonna be watching it. Oh, I'm all up in the tree. Well, I think something might have grabbed that damn clicker. That line is going out. That line is going out, I'll tell you what. Or maybe I'm just moving, the boat's moving. <laughs> Let's see. We got anything on the clicker? Nope. Nothing. Nada. Let's bring her back in and continue fishing that edge. Folks, this is not very comfortable for me right now sitting on this seat with my back. Uh, oh, it's not very comfortable. Click button, bitch. Folks, this one is a baby. I mean, I know it's a baby because I've seen him when he came, when he come up out of the water to bite the worm. That's a baby, baby. <laughs> Look at that baby. That's a baby, baby. What's up, baby? <laughs> he ain't getting off. That's a baby. Goodbye. Hold your camera. Folks, I've got one on this side. I know you can't see me. I'm in the damn sun, but... 
he let go. Damn it. Too much line stretch, I'm telling you what. My line has stretched. I don't care what you say. My line stretched and I didn't get a good hook set. I guarantee that line stretch caused me not to catch that fish. I can call it whatever I want. That's right. I can make any excuse I want. <laughs> when you got freaking 50 yards of line out and you're trying to set the hook and you line stretches, it just, yeah. You ain't getting a good hook set because of the line stretch. Now think about it. If I were using braid right then and I had no line stretch, that hook would have set a lot easier. But seeing as I had line stretch, my hook didn't set because it didn't get the full power of my uh, set because the line stretched. Man, this video sucks so damn bad, I don't even know if I'll upload it. Two little old tiny fish. And that's it. Jeez, I missed a bunch. I missed more than I caught. Why well, would I upload this? Now here comes a dog and a uh, freaking barking ass dog. Gonna come out here and raise hell. I'll try to catch another one, folks. Stay with me. It appears they like the black worm, folks. Oh, he let go. As soon as I started trying to tighten my line up to freaking set the hook, he let go of it. Let's try that again. God bless it. Today just ain't my day. Obviously, today ain't my day. I'm out of practice, I guess. Dad nab it. Got him. I grabbed me one out of the damn grass, folks. <laughs> Those are the easy ones. Yep. A small mouth. It's not a small mouth, but he has a small mouth. Man, I wish I had brought my pliers with me today. Can't hardly get these damn hooks out. Well, y'all can see them anyway. Just the same as the rest of them. I'm having a hell of a time with these hooks. Got him right in the corner. Right in the corner of the mouth. Right where he's supposed to catch him. Right there in that corner. <laughs> Go on, buddy. Get your get your damn hook out. Dog's still barking back there. There he is. Ah! Oh! Don't twist wrong when you have a bad back. It hurts like hell. Oh! I just twisted wrong. I'll be back in a minute, folks. Ugh. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of nibbles over there. I think they're uh, brim, though. They're not big enough to uh, get that <laughs> worm in their mouth. Yep. Oh, there is a little fish over there. Maybe he's coming after what I've got. Let's see. Let's see if he wants to grab that. Come on, grab it. Let me throw it back over there. <laughs> There's a little something. There's a little bit of action going on over there. Not, not nothing major, but Let's see what happens. I think the fish I saw was after the little fish that were nibbling on my worm. He's, yeah. He was that, that that bass that came up was after the fish that were after my worm, my bait. Talk damn camera already. Well, folks, I gave it a good effort. I'm too tired. I'm giving up. It's getting dark and uh, I'm in pain, so I got to go stretch out and lay down and rest my back. Thanks for watching, folks. Sorry I didn't catch much.